Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm talking as loud as I can. I don't know what's happened to my external mic. Here it is. You see this little device? All right. Maybe if I hold it right here. It's plugged in over here in a USB port. I want you to hear me. This is words from the Lord, and I want you to hear them. I'm going to read the short one at the beginning and the long one in the middle, and I'll just put the other two in the description box. It's very hard for me to talk loud like this. Small Straws in the Soft Wind by Marsh Burns. This came in my email today. This, is, this touched my heart greatly as it's been my problem. To those who are completely worn out by circumstances, I say, come to me for a time of restoration. Sometimes it feels like I am a million miles away. But in truth, I am as close as your breath. My spirit is in you and with you. The verse with this is Matthew 11, 28-29. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Hear the word of the Lord. It was received October 24th, given to Eddie Paul Flowers. Hear the word of the Lord. I have been long suffering with you all. Oh, wait. I forgot. There's, this is a typo, and you have to add the word as twice. I have been as long suffering with you all as I am going to be. I have given you warning after warning after warning through many of my true prophets. And yet, the false prophets are still crying out that you have time. They're lying, says the Lord, saith the Lord. They speak not for me because of my love for you, because of my mercy, I have given you the time that I have. But I tell you today that time is over. My judgments are here upon the earth. And I will pour them out one by one by one until they are all spilled out upon the earth. And much blood will be shed, saith the Lord. I have loved you. I have embraced you. I have covered you in my mercy. And many of you still play the harlot. Go a whoring after other gods, including the God of yourself. You cannot point the finger at me and say I didn't give you time. You can't point the finger at me and say I didn't have mercy on you. Yes. I have, because today you can see and hear this preacher. But some of you will see this preacher no more, for I have drawn the line, and some of you have crossed it. For some of you there is no point of return. I will no longer hear your prayers. Do you know what he's talking about, brothers and sisters? I'm pausing here and asking you. Cross the line like at the clinic or doctor's office yes they have crossed the line I he goes on I will no longer show you my mercy you pushed me to my limit I will show mercy unto my true remnant the ones who have believed in me who have obeyed me, 
have suffered for me because they know I have suffered for them. Mark this day. Mark this day. Your time is up, saith the Lord. I will hear some of you no more. Many have rejected me too long. From henceforth I will pour out my love and mercy on my true children. Pray, pray that ye may be found worthy to escape the things that are coming. For horrible are the days ahead. Dark are the days ahead. Many will be hungry and thirsty, naked and cold, with no roof over your head. And when I will not hear you, what will you do in that day? Now, I'm pausing again. If you have not become marked, you can cry out to the Lord and he will hear you. You must repent if you have not been serving him believing in him as your Lord and Savior the way you're supposed to be, if you have been rejecting his Holy Spirit, I pray you have not crossed the line into blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, as so many in the churches have. Someone asked me to do a report on the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. According to the Word of God, without looking it up, I can tell you this, it's attributing to Satan something that is from the Holy Spirit, such as praying in tongues. Having said that, we know that Satan has counterfeit tongues. He has counterfeit gifts. God knows your heart, and he knows your intentions. If you continually say, oh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are dead, they died with the apostles, because that's what you learned in the pulpit from a pastor in the pulpit who learned it from the Jesuits in the seminary, and you hold to that belief, woe unto you. It's people like that that refuse to believe that the Holy Spirit works in us today that are likely, more likely to be guilty of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Now, I will continue with this. The other thing that is also unforgivable, the medical thing, I have wondered, is that the ultimate form of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? But they don't seem to be connected, do they? Still, they are both unforgivable. So, before you condemn yourself for having said, oh, so-and-so, I heard her praying in a weird tongue, and I believe that was of the devil. Well, you might have thought it was a kundalini spirit. But do you believe that others can pray in the spirit? Jesus has told us in Ephesians chapter 6, to pray in the Spirit at all times with all manners of prayers and petitions and for all the saints. How can you put on the whole armor of God and ignore that phrase in the same chapter? I'm just asking. You take that up with God. All right, he goes on to say, Yes, there's coming a day that there will be silence in heaven for the space of half an hour. And all the saints behold what has become of the wicked. Uh, the verse put with this is Revelation 8, verse 1. And when he opened the seventh seal, there became quietness in the heaven about a half hour. Now, we know that the wicked, I mean, a half hour, that cannot be literal. If the saints are going to behold what has become of the wicked, that has to be we're seeing from heaven as they're going through the great tribulation, the wrath. 
after the multitude too large to number appears in heaven that's in Revelation chapter 7 that is your blessed hope if you are left behind do not give in and take the medical poison you hear me do not so what if you're cold and naked and homeless you can still go to heaven you call upon the name of the Lord. Let him save you and help you. He will send us to help you. We will have to ignore everybody that is marked. I hope you understand what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And they'll reach in every one of us and our devices. And if anybody would like to make a contribution to help me buy a decent microphone, maybe I can't even get the money and get it bought and plug it up in time. I got two love offerings this month. I shared half of one. The rest went for groceries and what I needed. And I'm off my drugs. Most of them. I didn't buy a single prescription this month, but I do buy supplements. And they have, like, doubled. And I'm paying more for internet. My cell phone went down, but the internet went up twice what I'm saving. So I'm, it wasn't as hard of a hit. And yet, I still had trouble clicking from one site to another without having to wait and wait and wait. And they were out here working on my internet, replaced my equipment, and it's worse. It's a hassle. But maybe a microphone would help you like the videos better and hear them better. This little gadget was $22.50. Clearly I need something better. I'll put my information in the description box for anybody who'd like to help me buy a new mic. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. I love you all. I hope to meet you soon. Let us pray that we are counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Bye for now, y'all. Have a blessed night or a blessed day whenever you happen to see this.